Hi, I'm Chantel from Key Digital's Technical Support, and we've been getting a lot of questions on how to do this. So today, I have a quick video on how to set up your IP device using just a cat cable and your PC. You will need a PC, a cat cable, and hyperterminal software, such as PuTTY or TerraTerm. Today, we'll be using TerraTerm. Let's get started. You're going to open up your browser and you're going to go ahead and search for TerraTerm. I typically download from the CNET website. I'm going to click on that link and I'm going to go ahead and click on download to initiate. Once it downloads, I'm going to go ahead and start the installation. And it's important for you to download the software before, because once we change the IP of the computer, we won't be able to access the internet anymore. Standard installation at this point is perfectly fine. I won't launch it just yet because we're gonna go ahead and change the IP of the PC and then we'll be able to launch the software. We're gonna go ahead and open up our network settings. We're going to right click on it and we're going to choose Open Network and Sharing Center. At this point we're going to go ahead and choose on the left hand side Change Adapter Settings. Once we're here we're going to make sure that the wireless is disabled. So if you have Wi-Fi enabled at the point in time you need to disable it. Once we disable the wireless we're going to go ahead and right click on the Ethernet and we're going to go ahead and click on Properties. We're going to then choose Internet Protocol Version 4 or IPv4 for short. We're then going to choose Properties. Default is set to Automatic. And here's where we're going to go ahead and build our mock network. We're going to choose Use Manual IP Address. Since our devices have a default network identifier of 192.168 and a default host identifier of a 0 dot network, we're going to go ahead and type in any IP address that fits within that realm. For instance, we're going to be using 192.168.0.210. That's going to be the IP address of this PC. Default IP addresses of all of our units are 192.168.0.239. So please refer to your manual. Then we're going to go ahead and choose the subnet mask field. It will automatically populate. Next step we're going to go ahead and do is change the IP address of the default network, in this case our mock network. So we're going to use 192.168.0.1. We're going to go ahead and launch TerraTerm at this point. And once we've launched TerraTerm, we can go ahead and type in the IP address, but it's important to select Telnet and not leave it on the default, which is SSH. Once we select Telnet, it's going to automatically update the TCP IP port, which is going to be 23. We're going to go ahead and type in the IP address in the top field. So once again, that's going to be 192.168.0.239. Once it opens up and it connects, we can go ahead and type in the three commands that we're going to need in order for the IP address to change. I find it is much easier to follow along with the manual in order for you to type in the correct commands, but I will put it on the screen for example purposes. In order to change the host IP of the device, such as the KDVW 4x4 Pro, the command would be SPCE T I P A, followed by the IP address and three characters all across the board. For example, 192.168.002.239. The next command that will change the IP of the router is as followed S P C E T I P R. Finally, the last command that we are going to send will apply and reboot the network settings and it is SPCETIPB. 
Once again, you can always reference the manual for the commands. Once we've done those three steps, we won't be able to access it anymore on the network that we've created since the IP address has been changed. At this point, you can go back into the settings that we just went to in our network settings and change it back to automatic. Once you connect your PC back to your normal network and you connect your actual device, like I said, in this case, we're using a VW 4x4 back to the network as well. You'll be able to communicate to it. And there's a pretty easy way to testing this. You can do it two ways. One, you can just ping the IP address that will give you a response by using the command prompt that's built into PCs or Windows, I should say. And then the other way that you can test to see if you're getting a response is by actually opening up your browser and you're going to type in the IP address and wait for the web-based configuration site to populate. Once you've done those steps, your device is set up and you are all good to go using it and programming. So thank you for watching this video and if you ever have any questions, you can always contact us at Key Digital Technical Support via email, which is going to be tech at keydigital.com. That's T-E-C-H at keydigital.com. And you can also give us a call Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., 914-667-9700. Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.